Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have the latest Soul Mask update for you. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and let you know what we've got. We've got a big PvP update, a couple of other fixes, and a lot of bugs that they fixed. So starting out, they optimized the level structure of the random maze ruins that you can find around the map. They adjusted the triggering of one-way doors in dungeons so that you don't get stuck in the door. They also uh, optimized the dungeon's teleportations and random range to prevent some anomalies. And they added new respawn points in the advanced area that can be used once you explore them. Which will be really nice, you know, once you get late game, you find that respawn point, and then you have it in case your campfire goes out. You don't have to run 3,000 meters. You know, there'll be some actual respawn points there. In addition to that, we've got some experience optimizations. Um, they enhance the survival capabilities of tribesmen, which is really good because, let's be honest, they died really easy all the time. Um... When you get diseases, they're no longer permanent. They now only last for five minutes. And there are actual visual effects when you catch a disease and the antidotes intros will be added to the disease description so you can see which antidotes you need for it. They optimize the bear's combat skills. Um, when you're watching the cutscene, the death of Central Core, you gain a damage immunity effect. You cannot be hurt during the cutscene. Um, the random chance for some of the non-golden masteries has increased. When you're repairing things like the nodes in the pyramids, you're now invulnerable. So that way you don't you're not in the middle of repairing them and get hit and it stops it. A uh, really good one that I like. Attack speed is now displayed on the stats interface. Because, you know, a lot of times we th see things and we're like, oh, well, why does this have more attack than the other one? Well, now we get to see the actual attack speed, which plays into that as well. Um, they made adjustments to the bow's mastery, the shooting technique. So now the target is easier to hit when locked on. And they optimized the visual effects for the damage reflection of the talent fight back. The granary and breeding farm are now changed to be unlocked at level 10. Um, the damage derriment by sticky explosive can to different constructions becomes smoother. So they adjusted, you know, how much damage each uh, level of construction takes. The steel battering ram and steel cannonball now deal more damage to blackstone constructions. So that way you can actually break into those higher level buildings on PvP. And they adjusted, uh, fixed it, fixed the action and sound effect of drinking from the water bottle. They also put in a description for how long it takes to repair things and the loss ratio of the max durability to uh, when repairing different gears. Now for the actual big part of this update is for the PvP part. So with the PvP servers in group one, so there's one in Asia, North America, and Europe um, starting this morning the portals which are on top of each of the pyramids opened up so that people can now travel to other servers within that group via the cross server portal so this means you can now switch from being on your server to being on another PvP server within that group you're able to build in each of the different ones, you know, as you wish. So if you want to completely switch over, you can do that and build in a different one. If you want to be split between two, you can do that as well. Give some variability, different people you're going to run into. You know, if you're stuck in one, you can try a different one. So that's a really big update. I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. And then there's a lot of different bug fixes. They fixed the special effect remnant issue of the mammoth's skills. Um, they fixed the display errors of the quality level and other infos in the hunting gallery. So when you're actually looking at that hunting gallery, they fixed that so there's no more errors. They fixed the issue where the Tempest Griffin's wind projectile wouldn't disappear. It would just stay there. They fixed the issue of invisible friend units that couldn't be seen if you change the rendering quality uh, to graphics low or ultra low. They fixed the issue 
where the display of the mysterious stone table wasn't refreshed after you switched masks if your mask was hidden. Uh, they also fixed the mask decor display on tribesmen. And they fixed the display anomaly of the upper limit for tribesmen on the interface after the adjustment of the recruitable tribesmen coefficient. So I guess that once you unlocked the thing that allows you to have more tribesmen, there was a display error for that, so they fixed that. Um, they fixed the issue of skin color occasionally changing when you change your hair color, or sorry, hairstyle. So that should not happen anymore. And then now they also fixed the issue where when a bow was drawn, some feather accessories and mimicry models would block the view. So now, regardless of what kind of accessories you have on, it should not block that view. Um, they fixed the issue where people could stand on anti-climb thorns, so that can no longer happen. They fixed the piranha's growth speed problems. There's no more teleportation drift of animals after being carried through portals. Um, they fixed the issue where NPCs use of bandages would continue on even after being interrupted which is good. No more NPCs that continue healing even after you knock them down. It'll actually interrupt that action now. Um, they fixed the issue where the talent multiple shooting could only take effect in solo mode. And they fixed the clipping issue of the ape boss's animation and its attack sound effect. Um, in addition to that, there were a few more... Um, like, they fixed the absence of the footsteps sound effect when riding an ostrich, so you now will be able to hear their footsteps. Um, there's not going to be an inconsistency between how many turkeys are in the turkey coop and how many you can see. And then there's a few others. Um, like, they fixed the issue where the buff timer, or like buff time you have at the top of your screen, would show the wrong time. In addition to the issue where the skill would get stuck on the first dry shoot uh, when using the bow's mastery running fire. And they optimized a couple other things like the monster quantity in the dungeon ruins. Um, there's a few other things on here, but those are the main, what I would say the quote unquote most important ones are, but definitely a lot of bug fixes and some optimizations. Really excited for this and for the future ones. I'm going to put the link for the actual complete patch notes in the description of this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will continue to make more content for you guys. If you have anything specific you want to see, let me know below in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.